Hello, my audience. Today we are going to look at uh, work done in an electric circuit. All right. The diagram on the board is a simple schematic representation of an electric circuit. What we are going to learn here is how work is done or can be done in an electric circuit. All right. When some quantity of electric current flows, as you can see, when some quantity of electric current flows from one point to another at different potential, work is set to be done. So how do I mean? If this key is closed, current flows from the socks, move into the load represented with the letter R, that's the resistor, and then fire back to the source once again. But there is a distance between this end and this end. This end A and another end B. These two different ends are at different potential. So in moving from one point to another, work is done. That work done is mathematically represented as W is equal to Q, V, right? So that is the mathematical representation of this work done. All right. So where W, where W, okay, is equal to work measured in joules, okay? W is work measured in joules. Q is a quantity of a quantity of electric current quantity of a current quantity of current flowing okay measured in, uh, in columns okay c then v stands for pd across the terminals okay across the ends measure the volts all right so having said that the next thing we need to understand is uh, that q being the quantity of current flowing in the circuit is given as i and t i is the current all right then time is the t is the time uh, at which the current flows all right, so the next thing we're going to consider is V. V is IR, right? V is our IR. If we do this, you can see we'll have to represent this, or we, are, we have to uh, substitute these values Q and the V respectively into the first relation. This is the first relation, right? Relation one, okay? So if we substitute the values, of Q, that is I and T, that is current and time, the product of current and time. We have W is equal to IT and V, right? Is equal to IT and V. This is V. Okay? Another relation, we call that the relation T. This is relation T. Then if we now go on and replace and the substitute for V, we have another relation given as V 